warden will read the court order aloud. Officers will enter the cell door, at that point probably put some handcuffs on him and also something on his uh, ankles. Once he is under control and restrained, uh, restrained, he'll be escorted by those officers into the chamber. He'll be placed on the gurney, he'll lie down uh, and several straps around his ankles, around his midsection, his arms and across his chest will hold him to the gurney. James D. Mark James L. Sonny Buchanan, Kumar Wallacar, Sarah Ramos, Lori Lewis Rivera, Pascal Charlotte, Dean Harold Myers, Kenneth Harold Bridges, Linda Franklin, Conrad E. Johnson. I'm I'm here for some clothes, young. I'm, 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 I would, he, the last victim was my co-worker, Conrad Johnson. I received a call that morning that he had been shot and I dispatched a couple of people to run up there and find out what was going on. And after then, it was one of the worst days of my life. So I have been waiting for it since, I've been waiting for it since that date. You see that button? That's that date. I've been waiting since then. Okay, so it's here. I pull it out every year and wear it on that day so I can put it up tonight. And maybe I won't have to wear it next year. His last meal was chicken and red sauce, as he called it, and um, he had some cakes. Mr. Muhammad uh, maintains his innocence in this case, and he always has. So what, he is not remorseful, uh, although he does extend his condolences to the family. Uh, what these families went, to, went through was, was tragic uh, on every level. And uh, given the injustices in this case, what Mr. Muhammad went through was equally as tragic. And even on his deathbed, uh, he will express his righteous indignation uh, for his own execution. All right, the execution of John Allen Muhammad has been carried out under the laws of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Death was pronounced at 9.11 p.m. There were no complications. Mr. Muhammad was asked if he wished to make a last statement. He did not acknowledge this or make any statement whatsoever. The lawyers and the family of John Muhammad would like to make the following statement. The execution of John Muhammad will raise a lot of different feelings for the families devastated by the tragic shootings of September and October 2002, and for the broader community affected by those crimes. We, deep, we deeply sympathize with the families and loved ones who have to relive the pain and loss of those terrible days. Our sympathies also extend to the children of John Muhammad, who with humility and self-consciousness lost a father today, and a member of their family. To all those families and the countless citizens across the country who bore witness and continue to do so to those tragic events, we renew our condolences and we offer our prayers for a better future.